All right, now we're going to take a look at a couple of different styles of emphasis balloons. And the first one I'm going to attempt here is for the villain. Uh, his balloon in this panel is Demon Mutt. And we could put a regular balloon on that. It would probably be fine, but we could also make it look a little bit more evil by doing like a flat edged scribbly balloon. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in on it a little bit. And the first thing I wanna do is just move text block a bit more out of the way of the action and so we can see what's going on a little bit better I'm going to go to my artwork layer here click on the N which is the blending modes and just drop the opacity down around 50% click off and this lets us see black objects against the artwork while we're working and now we'll create a new demon here create a new layer and we'll Drag it underneath. This is where we'll draw our balloon. And I'm just going to get a brush. Technical pen is probably fine. And we'll try to experiment with the size a little bit. And basically, we want the size to be about the same thickness as the text or the bold text in the in the balloon. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to undo to get rid of those. And now what I'm going to do is start by drawing a flat side, um, basically between the character's mouth and the balloon. And that's where our tail's gonna come out of. And then I'm just gonna kind of work my way the rest of the way around the balloon, just kind of alternating long and short uh, sides there. Just a couple of scribbles back and forth a couple of times on each one. I'll get the eraser tool and I'm gonna erase a little gap um, about one letter wide where our tail's gonna go. We'll go back to the brush tool and a couple of different options for tails. We could just draw a regular old balloon tail And if you click and drag and then like you hold it for a little while and let go, it straightens out the sides if you want it to look a little more perfect. Uh, we can undo that again. Sometimes a zigzag tail looks kind of cool. A little bit funky. Let's try again here. I'm going to try to keep it around his, off his arm there. And again, if I, if I draw the tail and then hold, it's going to snap to a more perfect shape. I'm going to do it again. If I draw it again, hold the perfect shape. Now I can actually rotate it. If you keep holding, you can size it and rotate it. Just to kind of dial it in there. That looks pretty good. And here's a couple other fun tail options to try. I'm going to zoom in a little here. You can do the flat sided back and forth kind of zigzag. If you hold it, it's perfect. It's not really pointing at his mouth very well though. Do that. Uh, you can do the kind of crinkly edge tail there. And if we undo, and you draw a crinkly one and then you hold at the end, you can kind of get some interesting results there too. That's pretty cool. And another one to try, it's kind of these scalloped pointy spikes on the tail. So there's a couple of different ideas. Um, mix them up and experiment and come up with your own. Once you settle on a style, the last step is to fill it. So let's get a contrasting color. We'll just go white for now, or we could go, you know, something a little more evil. Maybe something that actually ties into his costume color, which is, he's got this kind of blue cloak. So maybe if we pick kind of a light, light blue, we could try that. And we're just going to drag the color into the balloon and fill it blue there. And if we want to get really fancy, maybe we want to can invert the colors. So I'll make the stroke blue, then switch to black and drag that into the balloon fill and switch to our demon layer here. Uh, get rid of that and set it to light blue. Then last thing, let's go back to our artwork layer and set it to full opacity so we can really see how it looks. Zoom out of it. Cool.